Okay, guys, and welcome back to my channel, TV Gaming HD. And today, guys, I'm bringing you my WWE Custom Universe mod, guys. This is the go home show for NXT. I just want to say, guys, I'm so sorry for my last video, which was raw. Um, obviously, now I've looked at it back, guys, my webcam didn't actually record, and I didn't think I know I didn't want to not post a video, you know. So I'm so sorry for that, guys. But we are back to normal, and then my webcam is recording now. I think I must have forgot to repress, uh, press record or something, I'm not quite sure. But I was actually uploading a video at the same time, so maybe it just lagged it, I'm not quite sure. But I'm so sorry guys, but we are back to normal now. I am using my uh, webcam, I was looking at it right now, he's actually recording. So yeah guys, we are back, and in our first match we have Randy Savage versus Six Pack, both of the NWO. Not quite sure what's going on with these, with this, with the NWO group, and I was recently added them as a tag team. I'm not quite sure if they want to prove, to prove who's top dog in the group, I don't know. But we're going to go ahead here, I'm going to go for Randy Savage. Yes, the late great Randy Savage has won uh, over six pack there. And we have Rey Mysterio versus Sin Cara, which I also mentioned before as well. I'm not quite sure why I actually got them in my universe, mode, but you know, it. Uh, you know, I'll just keep them anyway. And they're going against Scott Steiner and Kurt Henning from the NWO. And I'm going to go for Scott Steiner and Kurt Henning. And no, Rey Mysterio got the victory over Scott Steiner. God damn it. And guys, this is the most important, well, this is the most intriguing match of all. Um, Zack Ryder versus Christian. As you guys know, Christian, I mean, Zack Ryder has been on amazing form recently. So that's why I'm going to go for Zack Ryder. Holy crap. Guys, after this, I'm going to go and check the, rate, the rankings for the Intercontinental Championship. I'm going to see where Zack Ryder is actually going, because he must be uh, climbing the rankings so, so much so recently. And we have Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns going against Darren Young and Totus O'Neill. The Shield versus the Prime Time players in a rivalry match. And I'm going to go for Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins and they have won that as well. And we have Darren Young and Totus O'Neill fired back with a attack of their own against champion Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. So they got their payback guys even though I think they lost it didn't they? Yeah. But as you can see everyone on the left has won. So we're Chris Jericho with Cody Rhodes. So yes, guys, we have Chris Jericho going one on one with Cody Rhodes in a submission only match. Yeah, you guys know what I, I think about that one. I would say Cody Rhodes hasn't got a signature, uh, hasn't got a finisher of a submission or anything like that. Chris Jericho on the other hand has got the Walls of Jericho. So you would probably say that this match obviously favours Chris Jericho, not me, Cody Rhodes, but. I will. Same as last episode, guys. Same as um, Raw. Um, obviously, Dolph Ziggler was in a bad way. Obviously, losing two matches in a row. Obviously, we came off last week. Uh, Cody Rhodes also lost to JBL last week. And Chris Jericho won JBL the week before. So, obviously, it's so um, it's so bad, really, if I lose again today. I really need to win Chris Jericho to go into over the limits and hopefully... Hopefully I'll claim my first championship with Cody Rhodes. It's not going to be the most brilliant title to claim. You know, because I actually love the Intercontinental Championship. Well, this title, I know, the wider range. But um, obviously me claiming the Intercontinental Championship and then going on to the top to face Hulk Hogan, I think it is, who's the NXT champion, who's the face of NXT. Um, it will be an amazing, tremendous achievement for me to get to capture both titles. And as you can see, guys, here I am, Cody Rhodes. Just making my way out in my new attire. I think it's in my green attire. Yep. Rhodes. So Cody Rhodes making his way there with his beard. Well, moustache, I should say. Daniel Bryan. So, yeah, guys. Uh, we are less than, I think it's one day away from the uh, from the um, over the limit pay per view. And yes, I am. I'm going to be assigned to Cody Rhodes. But guys, like I said in the last episode, I am going to actually try and dominate Chris Jericho. I need to try to remember that he's our only a submission match. Because knowing me, I will just try and keep going for pinfalls. And I'll get frustrated. And there you go. Swinging that breaker there from Chris Jericho again. Obviously trying to reverse me. But guys, as I said last video, uh, as I said before on the start of the video, I'm so sorry for not having a uh, face cam. I actually, I actually hated uploading that video, you know, because I haven't got a face cam. You know, I just didn't feel right me uploading that, but obviously I don't really want to miss a week, you know, just because I've got a face cam. I'm still obviously commentating over the uh, video, which I did say I didn't like to do actually in that episode. It's pretty weird actually that I was actually mentioning my webcam. And I, I keep looking over, guys, if I, to see if that's still recording, and it is, you know. So please excuse me, guys, um, 
about not having the webcam. I'm totally sorry. But obviously we are back to normal now. You can actually see my face yet again. I'm so sorry about that as well. But as you can see, Chris Jericho and obviously that me. I'll just go one. I'll just go in against one of the uh, reversals. Oh, crossbody! Cody Rhodes hit that there tremendously. Tries to target the body. Chris Jericho reverses it again. And as you can see, guys, my next video will be over the limit. The next pay per view in our universe mode. The second pay per view is actually come around kind of quick. Obviously, guys, upload. Um, two episodes a day of my universe mode, Raw and NXT. Um, I think it's pretty good at AM uploading, I think. Uh, some days I might miss a day, guys. That's obviously because I'm probably busy or something, or, you know, but I do try my best to upload every day. Um, I do actually love uploading every day. Well, actually, that's, the thing is, as well, guys, I'm talking about the PS4. Um, if you guys. I haven't been ranting, but obviously on Twitter, if you guys want to add me, to the links are in the description below. I do, um, okay, so can I jump over the road? Okay, maybe not. Um, but yeah, obviously, PS4. The only time I actually play games is when I record them, you know? Um, when I stop recording on WWE, I won't play another game after this, you know, until I record a game. Um, so, I was thinking, if, is there any need for me to buy a ps4 yet because you can't actually upload to youtube yet you know you can't use my i can't use my elgato to actually record and that was an amazing catch there from chris jericho you know you can't um you can't record and upload to youtube just yet but you can um you can in the near future they said uh, so i've been reading on the internet god damn it so i was thinking should i just not buy a ps4 because obviously if I buy, I'm, I'm honestly, I've actually pre the, P, the PS4, but um, like games that I pre I've, I've got pre ordered pre I've pre ordered Killzone, and I was thinking of getting Battlefield, um, obviously I've already got Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, I've already got Call of Duty Ghosts, so obviously I need to upgrade that to the PS4, which is no problem, but um, I, so I was thinking to myself, I'll get um, I'll get Battlefield for for PS4. Do a walk through the story on next gen, you know. But, but, but what you think of it is, if I get a PS4, then that means that I can't actually, you know, play the games. Because I'll have to do walkthroughs. There's no way I'm gonna um, play Battlefield 4 single player twice. You know, I'm not gonna play it once just for me and then do it again just for it to YouTube. You know, I think the experience that you know what's gonna come. Um, that's not very really good, I don't think. So uh, I'm just really, I don't know what to do. I could actually buy a PS4 and just play Call of Duty Ghosts online. Uh, I just really don't know though. So uh, if you guys know of anything, if you guys think what I should do, no, I went for a signature there. So if you guys think that I should buy the PS4 and just play Call of Duty Ghost or, you know, or just upload multiplayer, which I could do, which I can't even do actually, I can't even upload anything. God damn it, I can't actually upload anything really. Um, I just don't know what to do. So leave in the comment section below, uh, below guys, if you're actually um, a YouTuber that's gonna, you know, what are you gonna do? I know there's a, there is a way around, um, you can get like a converter, but I really cannot be bothered to go through that, all through that, and knowing that maybe in a couple of weeks or, because I'm, I'm actually hoping that they actually, um, you know, they actually, get a patch for it, I know they're bringing it, but I don't know when, hopefully obviously in the UK the PS4 doesn't release until the 29th of November, which, I, which I'm, as, as I'm currently recording now, is actually got two weeks away, so hopefully within two weeks, maybe four, or maybe about three or four, maybe a week after it launches here, it launches here in the UK, if there's a patch then, then fair enough, but if it's like three or four months down the line, there's really no point me buying it just yet, um, obviously it might come down in prices then as well, I'm not quite sure, so guys, if you are a YouTuber uh, and you're planning on getting the PS4, let me know, guys, what you actually what you actually plan on doing. But as you can see, back to this matchup, and I totally forgot again that this match was actually oh, I went for the crossbody. Chris Jericho moved out of the way. Actually, forgot that this was a submission match. I was saving one of my finisher. I'm not quite sure why, but I was <laughs> for something drastic. Oh no, I actually reversed that. It's too fast. God damn it. And guys, if you see me looking over like this, it just, just makes me move on up and uh, looking at my webcam to see if it's still recording. And it is. Oh, what? What the hell was that? 
No, cold break out to me. And he's busted me open. Oh no. Oh no, I'm by the rope. Wow, Jericho, you're a veteran WWE superstar and. Oh, Cody Rhodes with the car. Wow. That is absolute rubbish. Went for the crossroads and then obviously Chris Jericho reverses it there and oh, I've kicked him right in the mouth. High risk. Holy shit. Cody Rhodes has just got absolutely nailed there. And guys, as you can see, I haven't got resiliency for some reason. So if you can hit my finger going mad on the trigger, obviously I'm just trying to get the braking system there. And as you can see, my body is absolutely red. My neck and my... Oh no, he's just going to reverse me, isn't he? He's just going to keep making me submit. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. I really do not believe it. God damn it. I think, guys, the turning point for this match was the cold breaker from the top of the row. Holy shit. Guys, I'm so sorry for nothing about that. But Cody Rhodes on another loose streak, just like Dolph Ziggler. He's on a losing streak yet again. And I think, it, I wonder if it will show you guys the, uh, the, the, um, the cold breaker from the top of the rope, will it? I don't think it will, though, I don't think. No, obviously this was after, I think, wasn't it? Um, as you can see, guys, there I went for the crossroads. And there's the finisher right there. Obviously, you see me tapping right there. So disappointed again. Chris Jericho has got another victory over me. Last week I lost to JBL. And this week I've lost to Chris Jericho. So Cody Rhodes goes going into the over in the pay per view. I'm not very confident. I'm not full of momentum. But on the other hand, with my other superstar, Dolph Ziggler, he's going in with, a, with some confidence and with a win under his belt. And guys, we're just going to exit this now. So disappointed with that. But obviously, guys, you guys know that that's, that match did favour Chris Jericho with a submission. Even though it didn't make me submit to the Wolves of Jericho. I'm not quite sure what that, 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 what that submission was, actually. But, yeah. But, um, as you can see, guys, back to the, the card here. Everyone on the left won. <laughs> that's not a curse. That's probably a coincidence. But there's nothing on WWE.com, guys. Nothing at all. But I'll show you the calendar now, guys. Our next, my, our next show will be the pay-per-view at Over The Limit. And guys, I just want to say a massive thank you to you guys that have been watching this video and watching my previous videos. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Please like the video, subscribe to my channel TV Gaming HD, which a lot of you have, have been doing in the past couple of videos. I want to say, say a big thank you to you guys as well. And guys, I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much for watching this video.